Throw it behind him, bro. There you go. God, that is smoking. Yeah. Keep your arm tucked, Mike. Double. Coming to the right. So you see how all the yellow fins, yep. real yellow fins, but the line, let me see the back of his tail. What is that? Shark. The line. Yeah, it was a shark eating one of your fish. Sorry, fish. The line. Let's see the tip of his tail? Yep. Pointing at me? The line doesn't go through the tip of the tail. See how it, it can go through yes, the tail? Yes, I see. And if the line goes, the black line goes all the way to the tip of the tail, he was in tannic water and was probably used to be in tannic water or born there. Because that's more the Those lateral. fish are real yellow and, and pretty. That fish is a saltwater. Very snook. cool. That's really cool. Very, very cool. Thank you, little buddy. You go on. I'm not going to have my hands in the water. Come here, little fella. Come here, little fella. I don't know where. I don't know where. I don't know where. Aren't they pretty? Wow. Dang, look at that. No dot. No spot. Neat though, look at the color. Captain Ridge Murphy having yes. a ball. Yes, sir. And my buddy, Bass Lady Brooke. Hey guys, we're, uh, we're down in the Everglades today with Mike McFarland from the Texas Inside Fish Report. We're, uh, we fished a little bit yesterday, caught some snooks and reds, and uh, we're out here today looking for the little poons. So. Mike's never caught one. We got Bass Lady Brooke with us and uh, just trying to find the elusive tarpon. So, we'll, uh, you guys want to come check it out? Stick around, see what we can catch. You ready? Hey, that was a dolphin, I think. That was a dolphin. Pitching. Got him. Real. Make sure to bow. Treat it like he's a big one. Strong fish. Oh yeah. Man, that's so different than bass fishing, because you want that rod up. Just the opposite. Yeah, you just want to keep twitching. Try not to set the hook too hard because you'll rip it out of his face. Going down. He actually yeah, it's not looked like now. he came undone and then got hooked in the side of the head. I think he just swatted at it. There you go way that he fired on it it's got some room to grow yeah and to think that fish could end up 100 pounds one day plus the one we saw yesterday this is it could Keep throw in there brooke throw in there behind him the one we saw yesterday was easily six feet it's okay Just throw easily in there. six feet look at that there you go look at beautiful that. fish look at man it's beautiful unbelievable first tarpon my first tarpon ever I don't want to scale from this one, but I'm thinking that one of these, I'm going to want to go ahead and take a scale. It's been one of my bucket lists to catch one of these. Of course, I really want to do it on a fly rod and I want it to be over hundred pounds, but hey, beggars can't be choosers and I'll take a piece of slice of the pie any way I can get it. So, you gotta have some room to grow, man. That's right, this one's perfect. In big or small, we catch them all. And uh, I'm just happy to be, I got a tarpon in my hands. So that's a really cool looking fish. Since I, was, since I was a child, I wanted to catch one of those. And there it is. Florida. Everglades. What's better than one? You know what's better than a crawfish dinner? Five crawfish dinners. <laughs> so in two, we got two things to say about that tarpon. The only thing better than a tarpon? Five tarpons and of course, a bigger tarpon. Let's go.
Come on, your turn, Brooke. Good little pocket right there. There's a bunch in here now. Mm, pick one out. Try to get one that's facing you. Should be good, Brooke. Just keep twitching. A little morning sun shower. Good. Good cast. Just stay tight. Bow. Make sure to bow. You're not bowing. Like no, just lift your rod a little. Just lower the bow. Lower the there you bow. go. That's it. Still there? Yeah. Give it, point it towards the fish. She's on. There you go. Tarpon for Bass Lady Brook. Oh, they fight like crazy. Oh, yep. they're strong. They're, they're definitely fast and strong and enjoy it. I've had a fish jump this night. Woo! Goodness. <laughs> <Golly>. <laughs> a little different than bass, I'd say. Oh, yeah. About the same size, but three times the fight, you know? I think I got hooked on the back. No, you got them. Yeah, it was on the back. It came off. It was hooked on the back. It's all right. That was fun, though. Throw in there behind him after right, he baby, gets cleared. Let's do it. Nice. Let's do this. Throw in there. Come on, get out of that driller. Get Good. out of that driller. Got a boy. Nice job, Mike. Come on now. Get out of the driller. Get out of the driller. You do what you want, son. Yes. Yes. Woo! What a rush. He ain't even <laughs> a big one. But this is cool. Too cool. Jumped three times already. Tarpon on the fly. Just keep stripping. Come on, get out of there. I'm gonna own you a little bit more right here. Just keep stripping, bud. Try and get him to come this way. Oh, he's strong. Strip. He's strong fish. Strip. Strong Strip. fish. There you go, yes. keep stripping. You got him turned now. Here he comes, here he comes. Keep stripping. Keep stripping. Come here, mister. On the fly, on the fly, you're done. I think you hooked real good. Nice. That is so awesome. <laughs> I thought he got off right there. Just keep stripping, Mike. If he's going right, you're gonna pull left, okay? Yep. You can pull down his back. Boy, that is awesome. There you go. What Come a strong on. fish, too, for just a little. I can only imagine what a 100 pounder is like. Oh, yeah. I got that big tail. Outrageous. Get off that. Come here, Poon. Get down there and I'll help you, bud. All right, I think he's done. I'm pretty sure he's coming now. Think he wanted to eat that thing? Yeah, he smoked it. Nice. Here we come. Come on. Capitan. First one on the fly right there for you, buddy. Yes, sir. Okay to lip him? Yeah, just like a bass. Yeah. First tarpon on the fly in the Everglades with Captain Ridge Murphy the son of Captain Rick Murphy and the Texas Insider Fishing Forum brought me down here. What a dream. What a blessing, what a grateful, and my gratefulness is just this huge. Just, wow, my gratitude or their gratitude, everything, I don't even, I can't even talk right now. And I don't got a giant in my hands, but this is, this is something I wanted to do since I was a child. And honestly, if I wasn't part of the TIFR, I don't know that this would have happened for me right now in my life. So we're going to put it back in the water right now and get it back breathing. And remember, we always let everything go. When we're in Lake Fork with big bass. We let them go real nice. We make sure they're going to swim off. Don't just toss them back. Kind of let, make sure you know that fish is ready to swim off. A little respect to the fish. Boom. If it's your first time here and you like what you see, make sure to like, comment, subscribe below. Let the rod load.
Nice cast, Mike. Wait, there he is. There you go. Just keep stripping, bud. Keep him tight. There you go. Uh, he oh. come off. Got me on that bow. Don't, don't twitch me. Like that long strip got him last time. All right, you're mine. I'm over this nice and easy. Let's go to war. There you go. Let's go to war. Come on, go ahead and jump. I'm ready. I'm ready. There I'm you ready. go. Come on. Yes, sir. Third time's charm. I lost the last two. That's right. Come here, boy. Little warm ups. Got your first one out of the way. And now we're just trying to pick away. So fun because they're so strong. <laughs> they're just incredible. Fish the same size of the bass you're catching in the lake. Oh, pull twice way as harder. hard, three times as hard. Absolutely. Especially on a fly rod. I thought he was going to jump right there. Well, that... Go ahead and grab his fish for him. Go down there and just grab him, lip him like a bass. Now turn him on his side. He's already coming to you. Not quite. Next time he gives me a side, he's done. There Here you comes. go. And just Here reach comes. in there and grab that leader and then put your thumb in his mouth like a bass. Yeah, and hold on thank tight. you, Burke. I got him. Look how big his eye is. Just beautiful, yes. The eyes get even bigger on the course, obviously, on the big ones. But just look how flawless and beautiful this fish is. Not a scale missing, not a mark on it. Look down the middle. You see the lateral line? Look at the, this middle section of, of scales. You see that? See, almost like an artist went and put tree leaf design right down the middle of that. That is unbelievable. The rest of the scales are flat. Look at that. What an incredible, incredible deal. Gorgeous fish, gorgeous opportunity. Capitan. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Anytime. Wow, wow, wow. Just sit there, make sure you hold them in there for yes, a little sir. while. Well, like I said, every time we do this with our bass, I usually like to just grab them up by the tail. I don't just toss any of fish. I'll grab him by the tail. He'll tell me when he wants to go now. Now I'll swim out my hands when he's ready. Go on. Sometimes you can pull back just like that. Let him swim out your hands. Nice, Never just chuck fish. a fish back of any kind. Yeah. Cool. Welcome to Florida, bud. Yes, yeah, sir. We got big fish and little we'll fish that pull like big later. fish. We'll be back sooner than later. Good there you cast. go. Nice go. Cast. Oh. Go. There. That got him. That's it. Make sure to bow. Got him that time. Make sure to bow. Good job, bro. Just going left. He's going to come up and bow. Just keep going. Got it this time. You see the fish? It's up, but the line's down. Real, bro. I'm trying, but it won't go anywhere. He's just buried in the hydrilla. Just keep reeling. There That's you go. He's out now. Good job. It's a nice That's snook, it. I think. No. He's tarping with some hydrilla on his face. Oh, oh. powerful fish. It's all right. You got him. Come here, baby. Give me that mouth. Good job. Nice, beautiful fish. Gosh, that's such a pretty fish. Holy cow. Let's turn his back towards What a shot. beautiful, beautiful fish. Nice. <laughs> See what I say? Bigger than mine. That's the biggest one so far. Go ahead and hold them in the water. Just put them. You can still talk about them. Hold them, but just. Let it go. Probably one of the most vicious fish I've ever caught. Put your hand underneath his belly and lift him. There you go. Good job. He said, I'm done. I'm out of here. Nice job, Brooke. First one? Yeah. Nice. Got some room to grow. That means next time you guys come back, we need to uh, go chasing some big ones. Yes, sir. Nice one. Make sure to bow. He got you in the hydrilla. Keep reeling. God, it's in there deep. I see him now. Yeah. Keep reeling. Lift him. Yeah. Lift him. Just try it. There he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Golly. Try to help her out, Mike. Try to help her out. Just get the hydrilla off the fish. Watch that rock. Just reach up there and grab the hydrilla. Try 
try and get some clean water in his gills. Yeah, he's out of it. Just get the hydro off the line if you can. There you go. There you go. Then reach down, grab him by the mouth, and support his belly when you pull him in. Come here, little fella. You're all right. You're hooked, buddy. You ain't going nowhere. This is going to be bigger than your last one, I think. Come here, fella. Come here, give me that mouth. Oh, gosh, that's, that's a little bigger one. Even a bigger one. Ready? Okay, got it. Put your hand underneath his belly all the way. There you go. Nice. So put him in the water. Just make sure you sit there, hold him. It's crazy how it's a perfectly developed fish, you know? Yeah. Healthy. Nice. nice. Healthy, healthy, healthy. <laughs> not bad for a four month old, huh? <laughs> no, not bad at all. <laughs> hey guys, Mike McFarland here, upper fresh region of Northeast Texas for the Texas Insider Fisher Report. Man, I'm right here with Captain Ridge Murphy. Had two days of fishing in the Everglades with my best friend, Bass Lady Brooke, as you may know her. Um, never been here before. It was just an experience of a lifetime. This is a very, very big place, a beautiful place, and there's so many different fish species to target. Uh, we've caught five different species. We've caught tarpon, we've caught redfish, we've caught snook, we've caught jacks, and we've caught barracudas. We saw other species. We saw a six foot tarpon, got our hearts pounding. Um, I don't know about you, but- you know, Real Brooke, yeah, real Brooke. Is. She's got something, I'm gonna be a little cooter right there. Her largemouth bass in this brackwater. A little baby, baby snook. How about that? So there you go right there. I mean, you don't know what you're gonna catch right here in the Everglades. Um, look at that. So we caught some big ones of these. We caught them on conventional. We caught them on fly rods. Oh, poor little fella. Let's get him back as soon as we can. But what a beautiful place to be. This is a little baby. Um, and I couldn't have asked for a better trip. Um, I said, best friends here sharing a, a memory of a lifetime. We'll be back. Thanks to all the Texas Insider Fishing Report staff. Thanks to Rick, thanks to, to Kathy, to Donna, to Nicole, to Bree. Um, hey, our captain right here, Captain Ridge Murphy, he's the bomb, put us on the right fish. I said, I don't even know what to say, except thank you, it's bigger than my arms can stretch. Um, it's been amazing. Yeah, it's been a truly amazing. Uh, gonna be back for sure. Come back, I want to target one of them giant tarpons so I can take home a scale. But um, experience of a lifetime, if you ever want to come out here, check these guys out, definitely book with, with Ridge. Um, and I know his father, Captain Rick, I think he does some private stuff too, but uh, don't miss out on him, on an incredible fishery. Florida Everglades right here. Mike McFarland, upper fresh region of Texas, Texas Insider Fishery Report.